I'd like to first, before referring to the degree, uh, ask our PhD, one of our PhD graduates in physics to come forward to speak on behalf of this year's class, uh, and that is uh, George A. Rudd P. Shop. Sorry, George Radaji Chubich. George was originally from Serbia, and he did his undergraduate studies at Tupac Princeton University. Uh, as a graduate student at Stanford, he's been uh, an advisee of Professor Stephen Shanker and he focused on theoretical high energy physics. Uh, following graduation, he's going to begin a postdoctoral position at the Perimeter Institute in Waterloo, Ontario. Thank you, everyone. And I'd like to start by thanking several groups of people. Uh, first, those who are here, including the people who made this happen. Uh, those who couldn't make it, but uh, who were there for each of us and this effort. And especially to those uh, physics grad students who nominated me for this speech. And I don't know who you are yet, <laughs> but I'll find out. OK, I was chosen, and I was happy to see that uh, commencement speakers at this ceremony come from a very diverse set of cities in Serbia. <laughs> and so, trying to be unique, I turned to uh, other previous speeches for inspiration, previous years' speeches. And it seems customary to use, to use the commencement speech to extol the virtues of science and to stress the trials and tribulations of the grad student grind uh, from future employability, if any, <laughs> to the over-reliance on free food. <laughs> and these issues are all very real, and they're not all bad necessarily. For instance, my PhD uh, ordered me to get a job, or rather a postdoc, in Canada, and that's a pretty nice way to catch my bets uh, uh, before the November election. <laughs> But going back to the speech, uh, all these topics that I mentioned uh, are like preaching to the choir. You all know what grad student advice is like, uh, except maybe for the undergrads, uh, and they can quickly get the gist by uh, you know, either watching the Big Bang Theory or reading PhD <laughs> comics, or if they're particularly masochistic by going and becoming grad students themselves. And so instead, I tried to distill four lessons that I learned in grad school uh, by trial and error, and mostly error. And I can only imagine that they will apply in the real world as well. And thus, I hope that I will avoid pigeonholing the uh, physics PhD students in all the usual ways, and I'm just running the risk of uh, being pigeonholed myself as a hopelessly professorial academician who just likes lecturing others. And, but I do hope that uh, my words will provide a modicum of inspiration to, uh, and, uh, to everyone, uh, both to the newly minted graduate students and uh, to those for whom graduate education is in the past, or in the future, or in an alternate history. <laughs> okay, but so the first of the four you know, slogans I want to talk about is that work is ideally about having fun. So grad school has taught us that uh, what it's like when someone forces you to do something you don't enjoy, uh, be it a research problem, or uh, you know, a particularly inspiring teaching section, or hours of safety training at Slack. <laughs> Uh, but grad school has hopefully also uh, taught us what it's like when you work on something that you really, really, really care about. And when we, to, when we want to get to the bottom of things so deeply uh, that we sacrifice sleep and socialization and a higher paying job with shorter hours. And so, but on a related note, it's also important to uh, be patient because things will not work out, as we all know. Experiments won't work, models will prove untractable, code won't compile, theses will be delayed. And so there will be setbacks all around, and we won't be having fun all the time. But it's important to keep in mind that we should just stay patient and wait for all the fun to come. <laughs> and next, I want to remind everyone to be honest. 
And I don't mean this in any sinister, you know, don't violate the honor code kind of way. I just mean to say, if you are trying to understand what's going on, you need to be, you need to keep an eye out uh, on not fooling yourself. And uh, you need to listen to the voice in the back of your mind that tells you that there are still things that you don't understand. And if you avoid this voice, then it will come back and bite you sooner or later. <coughs> so those are three slogans. And uh, finally, it's totally okay to say, I don't know. You know, imposter syndrome is really, really tangible, just as tangible as the cloth in donuts. <laughs> but as a physics grad student, what's important is to fight tooth and nail to wrest answers from the universe. And it's okay if it doesn't work out. Of course, if you keep fighting, eventually you'll start scoring victories and you'll be able to say, hey, I do know this. And this moment of glory is what grad school is all about. And I'm sure you also know, vicariously or from direct experience. And that's where all the fun, patience, honesty, and humility will lead to. And I hope that we will all have many such glorious moments in our futures. And with that, I thank you all. <laughs>